Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to make an Angry Birds style game in Concept 3. This will be a multi episode series. In this one, I'll be teaching you how to add basic movement and import some sprites into the game. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, we'll be making our game. You can choose any template. I'll go for the default one. Click Optimize for Pixel Art and click Create. Now, we'll be right clicking and create new object. Then we'll be searching for sprite and naming whatever you want. I'll be naming this bird and then click insert. Once you have this, you can choose any color for now as we'll be changing the sprites later on. So for now, I'll be choosing this purple color. Now click escape and then you have this. You can press shift and drag these corners to resize your bird to the right size. So if we zoom out, I think that is good for now. Now, I'll be right-clicking, inserting a new object, and searching for mouse. I'll be double-clicking that and the mouse here will be inserted. Now, we need to add, add some behaviors to our bird. So, you can select the bird, scroll down to edit behaviors. Click that and add new behavior. We'll be adding our physics behavior. Once that is done, you'll be changing some settings if you want but for now i'll just let it let it be like that now once this is done we can go to our event sheet add event sorry click escape right clicking and adding a doable variable we'll be naming this x1 copying that and pasting that naming this y1 and then copying these two pasting that uh sorry y1 here and then copy pasting that and naming this x2 and y2. So now that we have these four variables, we'll be setting our uh, these two variables for the initial position of our player. To do that, we'll be adding event, going to system, and searching for on start of layout. Now that we have these four variables, we'll be setting our the value of these two variables to the initial position of our player. To do that, we're going to add event, system, and search for on start of layout. So when you have this, press enter and go to add action. Go to system again, scroll down to set value. You'll be setting x1 to our bird.x and pressing enter. Now copying and pasting that and doing the same for our y1. Setting that to bird.y. Now that we have this, we need to set the position of these two to the last position of our player. To do that, we can go to add event, search for mouse, and on mouse down, left. We'll also, what we'll be doing is setting the position of these two variables, value of these two variables to the position of our mouse. And when we let go of the mouse, the position the value of these two will be the last position of a bird. So go to add action, go to system, set a value, and then go to x2 and set that to our mouse dot x, then copying and pasting that and doing the same with our y2. Setting that to mouse dot y. We'll also be setting the gravity of our player to zero on the start of the layout. So search for gravity and setting the bold gravity to zero. Now when the now you will be going to add event, mouse, and on mouse release. So here and select the left button. Now when this is released, we'll be setting the wall gravity back to 10 or something higher. It's your choice. Now we'll be going to our action, bird, and search for impulse. We'll be applying an impulse. This needs two values, an x and a y. So for our x impulse, we'll be giving our x1 minus x2. So the difference, the distance in x between the starting position and the mouse, and same with the y. So y1 minus y2. So this will give us the exact distance between these two 
and then we'll be applying an impulse in that direction and pos and angle setting the image point to zero and that should be it if we play now and test as you can see it goes in the direction of the mouth opposite direction of the mouse if we try again a little, little lower as you can see it goes up now you can set the position of this in the middle just to see if it actually works if it's actually working nicely so you can see it goes up in the direct opposite direction of the mouse now you might have noticed that the speed of the bird is too much to fix this we can double click where we set the impulse and put parentheses in this x1 minus x2 and then times this by something like 0 0.3 so this will lower the number by 0 0.3 now do the same with our y position and times that with a small number now click done now if we play as you can see if we drag the the player goes in the direct opposite direction of the mouse and it's a pretty good speed. Now I'll be adding some obstacles to show you it interacts with physics. To do this I'll just right click, import, uh, search for sprite and just put in the name. I'll just put boxes. Now I'll be choosing a color for now. This is only temporary. And pressing escape. I'll be lowering this down with shift and dragging to the correct size, adding a behavior, and this will be just be a physics behavior. We'll not be altering this because it needs to be on the default one, and then just adding some boxes. So I'll just... And then in the end, duplicate this one last time, set this to immovable, and then just dragging this like that so if i press f5 and show you if we drag it interacts with physics as well oh i forgot to set this to movable now if we see if we drag and hit it it interacts with physics and knocks down the boxes now we'll be importing some sprites you can choose to make your own sprites or use your some free sprites. I will go to opengameart.org because there are some good sprites in here. I'll just go to 2D art and just search for burn. If I look around a bit, uh, I think I'll choose this one right here. Looks like a good bird. So I'll click on it and if I go down there'll be a zip so I'll be pressing that and then just saving that in the desired location so I'll just save that in downloads now you'll be showing this in folder and then so yes I have this I'll just extract this here double click here and then I have two folders I'll just go to the transfer in PNG and we have these two images I'll be teaching you how to add animations in the next episode, so for now, what I'll do is put that in the next monitor for now, double clicking our bird, pressing Control, then O, or you can just drag this like so. As you can see, our bird is now imported properly, now pressing Escape. Now as you can see, the bird is too big, so again, I'll be selecting this, pressing shift and scaling this down. I think that's fine for now. Now we also need some kind of background. So I'll go to back to open game art, hit browse and 2D art. Now I'll be just searching for a background here. Uh, I'll just be looking around. So I think I want this one. So I think this one is good for now because it suits suits the art style so this time there's also another zip so doing the same process downloading this in our uh, downloads 
and then I'll be extracting this off screen so I'll just extract that there and now we'll be right clicking inserting another object and searching for sprite we'll be naming this BG and pressing insert now I'll be clicking and then I'll be inserting my sprite so I'll go to transparent PNG and choosing the one you like there's also a tile one but I don't think we need that we will be importing our full background here takes a while to load but there we are pressing escape so now that we have this as you can see it's definitely way too big for our viewport viewport so doing the same thing shift and dragging we'll also deform this a bit it won't matter much because okay I think that's fine for now so we don't have to deform this luckily now as you can see our background is above all of our things so what I'll be doing is selecting this right clicking going to the order and sending this to the bottom of the layer as you can see this is looking way better I'll also right click and lock this now just we need uh, some boxes here so I'll go again again go to browse and search for boxes now that we searched uh, I'll just look around for a bit so I think I've found the one I like I'll be pressing this scrolling down and now this time there is a SVG file so I'll just saving that and going back to our project double clicking our boxes and then going to our downloads here you won't be able to see this and then drag this in I'll we'll just be resizing this so now that there we go now uh, it looks a bit weird right now uh, I think I'll just select these two and that's that and then this is gonna do this duplicating this a bit just to show you how it looks and there we go so now if we play our final game now if we play it you can see if we drag and click er, er, there we go forgot to set this to movable you can also go to our event sheet and while the button is down go into our bird so searching set position click set position and setting this to mouse dot x and mouse uh, mouse dot y now this will show you that this will just be better to see because you'll be able to see the bird as well so as you can see hit it and there we go so it always go this so this is logged in the center position so it will always compare the this value this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Bye!